Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, I am going to show you how I made these soap dishes with real flowers and resin. So, without further ado, let's get to it. So, here I have a soap dish molds. I bought them from Amazon and I am very keen to try them out. So, why soap dishes? Because lately we have, as a family, stopped using plastic soap bottles and the soap bars are just sitting on the sink. So I thought I will buy soap molds, soap dish molds and make some for me. So yes, here I have uh, hydrangea flowers that I um, dry them in the silica sand and also I'm using uh, blue tint for resin and a little bit of white because uh, the effect I'm going for is like the uh, hydrangea is still visible in the resin so I'm trying to get uh, still translucent color and while I mix here, I just want to take a moment and uh, say that I'm very proud of myself. Uh, this is my 50th video since I start posting on YouTube. And also I made my 50th sale on Etsy. So this week I'm surrounded by number 50. So before I start to pour the resin in the molds, I am heating them up because it is outside cold and the molds are cold as well because my studio is not very warm place and I'm really 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 trying to avoid bubbles on the surface so the contact between resin and mold on the bottom because that is going to be the top side also I'm pouring it slowly and carefully and again i will inspect the mold and resin for quite some time to make sure that uh, there are no bubbles and after that i am going to place my flowers in the resin so i am going to put some music and let you enjoy and watch the process and see you in the bait
So I just want to add that uh, I didn't know how dense I should place the flowers as it was my first time trying. So in the first, the square one, I stick as much flowers as I could. And then I thought the other two ovals, I'm gonna put a bit less and see how they come out. Because as the molds are new, you never know exactly how to do and how it's gonna turn out. And of course, before um, I leave them to cure, I am, as you can see, I am trying to achieve the uh, ideal form because they are a bit disformed at this stage. And this is one thing that if I would say something bad about these molds is that you need to form them yourself. Otherwise, they're gonna be quite wonky. So this is uh, uh, the first layer it's cured and now i will remove the stems 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 and add a thin layer of white oh and before i forget i will let you know that these three molds take around 300 350 grams of resin so yeah again bit of music and see you in the mix And that is that. Now I leave them to cure again and I'll be back and we're gonna demold them. So this is the part that I enjoy the most, uh, the unmolding one. And I don't know what to expect. And we're gonna see together how they're gonna come out bit of struggle and look at that i think i am in love look at this soap dish it's 
absolutely perfect no bubbles and the flowers looks really great and now up to the next one on to the next one and this one is looking good as well i didn't put so much flowers in this one and there are a bit more gaps but i think overall it's one good looking soap dish and this i think is my favorite shape so i left it for the last and let's have a look And yes, it's looking great as well. And I'm really happy I don't see any bubbles. So they are perfect. So a little bit sanding on the bottom is done and they be ready. So here they are all three together again and i would really would like to know which one is your favorite for me my favorite is this square one so if you found this video useful and entertaining please leave a comment down below but for now i'm saying goodbye until next time keep creating Bye!